Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And today we're going back to basics. I think this is part five. How to remove your nails with an e-file. So I'm gonna file off this hand of nails and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, here's what I'm using. Here's my drill and I keep it in this little container. It works for me. So a couple of important things to know is, firstly, you wanna use the right bits and you're gonna need a few choices. So for me, I like to use a safety bit. And so that is gonna be a bit that has a curved end. You can get them in metal, carbide, you can get them in ceramic, either is fine. Today, I'm gonna do a ceramic bit because they take longer to get hot. And you wanna be really careful. You wanna have a really good, stable, like bracing. Put your hand on a surface so it's not moving, you know, and move slowly, but not so slowly burning yourself, especially if you're doing your non-dominant hand. And make sure your grit, the like the coarseness of your drill bit isn't too high, because if it's too high, it knocks your product off in chunks, which can then just fly in your face. Maybe consider wearing safety goggles. Sometimes I do. And then make sure your drill is moving fast enough that it's pulling it off smoothly and you're not having to like churn through it because that's going to cause some problems as well. Probably should have did this part with the zoomed in mode, but I'll just stretch it in post. So, so this is the bit that I am going to start with. You don't have to use this one. Experiment with some, see which ones work the best for you. I started out just using a sandy band. It takes a little bit longer, but it's a lot safer. But this is the one I'm going to use. First, we're going to cut down the length. So this just helps to take care of some of the issue. That way you're not spending a whole bunch of time trying to grind off the part you could clip off. Try not to cut off your natural nails. Mine are a little bit long. So I want to keep that. That gives you some protection from your product when you reapply so that it's not all over the underside of your nail. And my bits flew, so I'll have to find those after. I recommend pulling your apron up high because these chunks will fly straight down the neck of your shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to mute this because it's going to sound really terrible while I do this. All right, so this is where I've stopped. You don't want to take everything off because you want to protect your natural nail. So you get the bulk off like this, and then you can switch to something with a much finer grit to fine tune it. And so I am gonna go ahead and switch this to this one. This is a fine, co uh, fine course, fine grit uh, safety bit with the top. And basically, I'm just gonna take this down a tiny bit more with this, and then we're gonna stop. It is okay if you leave a little layer of product just to keep the structural integrity. Or, once you get it thin, you can go ahead and soak the rest of your product off. You don't wanna file down to get all of it off because you're gonna run into your nail. All right, so I'm going to stop using the e-file here. You can see I'm getting the shiny bits. This is because I put a layer of builder in a bottle on before I start building the nail. That way I know when I get to that, it's time to stop. And if I wanna smooth it out from here, I can go in with the sanding band or a hand file or you know just whichever one is gonna be easier. Sanding bands, are faster, but hand files are safer, so you kinda gotta balance it out. This is the type of hand file I like to use, but you can also get them with curves, which is good for around the cuticle. Make sure you're seasoning it, which means rubbing these edges up on a different file because they'll cut you. But I'm gonna go and finish smoothing these out and leaving a little bit of layer. That way we can get it prepped up for the next nail set. I'll be back to show you though. All right. 
So that's it. I've got it down super, super thin. So you can either go in and soak the rest off from here, or you can just build on top of this product sticks to product. You don't have to remove it entirely if you're just gonna put more on. So that's a choice. But that's really it though. I hope you found this video informational at the very least, entertaining possibly, and useful if we're lucky. Make sure you are subscribed so you're not missing my videos. Definitely hit the like button. If you did like this video, leave me a comment. I do love to hear from you in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.